So Allah is saying, you want to know how to get quickly to God? Feed starving people. That's why Sahab, they were out there spreading this deen. They wanted the quick way to God. They wanted to get there. And they were like, this, this, I can do it by this? Go out and feed people? And they did it physically. That's a good thing to do. But the spiritual feeding of people, right? Yatim and da maqaraba, people without a father, without a spiritual father. Who's our father? Abraham. They don't even know who their father is. They're yatim, they're cut off. You have to go out and find them. You know, these people, orphans, they're spiritual orphans. They've lost their spiritual family. Innam and mu'minuna ikhwa. It's a spiritual family. They don't have a spiritual family. They're orphans. Going out and, and, and adopting an orphan, a spiritual orphan, and making them your brother. Giving them a spiritual family. There's all these people out there. They don't have spiritual families. When they get depressed, they turn on the television. When they get depressed, they take Prozac. Seriously. They don't even have, they don't have people they can call. There's all these old people out there, their families have abandoned them. There's young people out there, their families have abandoned them. Seriously, latchkey children all over. Mothers and fathers are working, they don't even see them. They come home from school, they fix their own meal. They turn on the television. And, and who talks to them? The TV. That's their family, friends. Their friends are on TV. Elmo and, and whoever. Barney. Barney. Those are their friends. Those aren't my children's friends. I don't want my children to have those friends. And then Barney's, you know, Barney's on Prozac as well. <laughs> he's in a crisis because he's a purple dinosaur on television and that's his career. <laughs> you know, he's not going anywhere else. So Barney's having an existential crisis and he's raising your children. SubhanAllah. Oh, miskin and thou mataraba. Or this poor person covered in the dust of dunya. You know, somebody bereft of spiritual guidance. They're covered in the dust of dunya. Matraba, turab. Dunya is dirt. That's what it is. The Prophet ﷺ said, the only thing that will fill the son of Adam is the dust of his grave. And that's what these people, they're just consuming, trying to get more and more, and it's not, it's not fulfilling them. They're miskeen, and they're covered in the dust of the dunya. To go and help those people. Then they're from the people who believe. That, that's the project. The religion isn't, you know, it's beautiful the things that we do. Wallahi, tarawiyah, what a gift, you know, really, to, to pray and to have these things. It's just a beautiful thing. Fasting, all these things are beautiful. But if you look at, at, at this tradition, it's rooted in going out. And the Muslims have become a completely personal this religion has become just me, me, me. Really. I mean, there's just so many Muslims that they think, you know, they'll read the Quran for themselves. There's people that can't even read Al-Fatiha. Go out and teach somebody Al-Fatiha. I guarantee you there's more reward in teaching a person Fatiha than there is in doing a, a million khatam. But people don't think about that. Just going out and taking this religion to people. <laughs> You know, learn it and then teach it to others. وَتَوَاصُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَتَوَاصُوا بِالْمَرَحَمَةِ Enjoining patience and enjoining compassion. SubhanAllah. It's just so beautiful. Wallahi, this, I mean, what, what a religion. And, and they're saying the Prophet didn't bring anything good. SubhanAllah. You know, this is what they're saying about our Prophet ﷺ. And he never claimed to bring anything new. You know, Allah says you weren't a bid'an min ar-rusul. You weren't like some new invention. You're following in the line of your father Abraham and all the other prophets. So that's what Allah is telling, right? And then, أُولَٰئِكَ أَصْحَابَ الْمَيْمَنَةِ Those are the people of the right. In other words, when you end up at the end of the journey, if you took that aqaba, you'll end up on the right side of the road. The right side of the road. Right? That's where you'll end up. You'll be on the right side of the road. And there's people going down the wrong side of the road. You know what happens when you go down the wrong side of the road? You have a head-on collision with, with reality. That's what happens. 
you have a head-on collision with reality. Like they, they had a film of a little girl in the car, you know, and just head-on collision with a drunk driver. That's dunya. Because th that's what dunya is out there. It's a drunk driver. And if you're on the wrong side of the road, that's it. So that's what Allah says. You'll be on the right side. وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِآيَاتِنَا هُمُوا أَصْحَابُ الْمَشْأَمَةِ And those people who deny these signs, those people that go down that other road that I warned them about, those are the people on the left side of the road. That's what happens. They get to the end of the journey and they find, and then they say, you know, oh, we want to be with them. No. You know, go find someplace else. You had your chance. You know, the planting harvest time is one time a year and then it's over. If you didn't plant at that time, you can't plant seeds later. They don't grow. It's amazing. That's why farmers have to know what time it is to plant. Because if they miss that time, it doesn't grow. And that's what this dunya is. This is the planting time. It's not harvest time. These people want to harvest doesn't work like that. And they're surrounded with these engulfed in flames. That's what happens, engulfed in flames. Because they're going down the path to the fire. One path says, this road is difficult, but it ends up in paradise. This road is easy, but it ends up in hell. Th those children that choose, they want the, the cookie now. They don't want to wait to get the two cookies. That's what happens. It's like little children. It's okay for a child to make that mistake, not for an adult. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to go down the right road, inshaAllah. Zakum Allah khairam.